If you're flying a drone recreationally here in the US, there's one FAA requirement you can't skip, and it's called trust. I'm Adam with UAV Coach, and we're an official FAA trust training administrator, and we've helped over 260,000 recreational drone pilots get their trust certificate. In this video, we'll break down what trust is, who it's for, what's actually on it, and how to take it. Let's get into it. Trust stands for the Recreational UAS Safety Test. It's the FAA's way of making sure recreational drone pilots understand a few basic safety rules before flying. That's really all it is. This is not a license, and it's not something you renew every year. It's simply proof that you've learned the fundamentals, and it's required for every recreational drone pilot in the United States. So who exactly needs trust? Well, if you're flying a drone just for recreation, not for work, or business or a nonprofit, and your drone weighs less than 55 pounds, this applies to you. And yes, it's required whether you're flying a $30 toy drone from Walmart or a $1,000 drone, or whether you fly once a year or fly every weekend. If you're flying for fun, you're legally required to have a trust certificate. Now, here's the great part. This is not a hard test. You literally can't fail it. It's online, it's completely free, and it takes about 30 minutes. You don't need any prior drone knowledge, there's no minimum age, and you don't need to be a U.S. citizen to take it. Once you complete it, you get a certificate of completion that you keep with you while flying. That's it. And when I say you can't fail it, I mean that. You're allowed unlimited attempts to answer the questions correctly. The entire goal here is education, not memorization or trick questions. The FAA wants you to learn the rules, not stress over them. The training itself covers very simple, common sense topics. Things like where you can and can't fly, how high you're allowed to fly your drone, how to stay clear of people and other aircraft, how weather can affect your drone, and basic privacy and safety responsibilities. It's the kind of information every drone pilot should know anyway. And like I mentioned earlier, we, UAV Coach, are an FAA-approved trust test administrator. Our role is simply to make this process easy and accessible for everyday drone pilots. If you're ready to get started, just click the first link in the description and hit get started. And just so you know, this isn't something we created ourselves. The FAA actually wrote the trust training and test content themselves. And trust is a collaboration between the FAA and industry to provide clear educational safety material to recreational flyers. And one last thing that's worth knowing is that worst case, if something does happen during a flight and you need to speak with law enforcement or the FAA, you can simply show your trust certificate, either printed out or saved on your phone. And that lets them know right away that you were flying legally as a recreational pilot. All right, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future drone videos. Let us know if you have any questions about trust or recreational flying. And until next time, blue skies and safe flying.